Hello, all my friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day, an outstanding day. Let me adjust my camera here. Otherwise, I'm going to have a headache from watching myself be crooked. Hopefully, I'm not crooked. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for clicking the bell. And if you haven't done those things, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, smash the subscribe button. Click on the little bell and check off the like. Uh, remember, Google product, private, no tracking. And uh, you can remain anonymous. Nobody knows that you subscribe. Nobody knows you're liking my videos. And it doesn't cost anything. It's free. One of my friends, uh, he's a young person. He's in his 40s. Uh, he watched my police video. Uh, about not having to ID, and he's a police officer. He said, I liked that video, it was very good, it was good information. Uh, and I was like, did you subscribe? And he's like, no, because uh, I don't want to have to pay anything. And I was like, you don't have to pay anything to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to pay anything to subscribe to most channels. Some channels have uh, financial incentive type things. Uh, I don't have any of that stuff. I don't make any money from YouTube. This is just a new format for me to get out my videos. Like I used to do pre-pandemic when I did green screen and put them on my Facebook uh, because I bought my electric bike, which I love, Roxy. Uh, she has driven me, no pun intended, to, uh, to YouTube as a platform, um, which I actually kind of like. So anyway, thank you. Today, real estate topic, we're gonna talk about radon. Uh, many of my clients always say, what's radon? Me, from being in the business for 20 some years, uh, of course, I didn't know what it was until I got in the business. Um, I just take it for granted. Uh, now, obviously, when I help my buyers with inspections, I always say, hey, I recommend that you get a radon test. Um, so, what is radon? Because most of my clients say, what is it? Radon is an odorless, invisible gas that causes cancer. It is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. Where does it come from? It comes from decaying uranium rock in the soil. How does it get into your house? It comes in through the slab, through any cracks or crevices. It also can come through well water too, but, but uh, mostly foundation comes, comes through the earth underneath your foundation and into your house. Where is it strongest? Typically the lowest level. Uh, which is why some people, if they're buying a house that's on a slab, uh, you know, above grade, uh, you know, a lot of times they won't get a radon level. I've never seen a high radon level like that, but my home inspector says it happens. So typically, uh, it's always the lowest level basement level. Um, and as I said, they've done studies, uh, demonstrating no, with 100% certainty it causes cancer. It is not good for you. If you're a smoker, it's even magnified. The, uh, the effects, uh, bad effects are magnified if you are a smoker. So one, you should quit smoking. But if you're not going to quit smoking, you should make sure your house does not have radon because it just exacerbates the effects of smoking and really puts you at the top there for cancer, lung cancer risk. How do you test? All right, so they have short-term tests, which is like 48 hours, and they have long tests, which the longest I had have seen recommended is 30 days, but, but you could do 90 days, you could do whatever days. How do they test? They have uh, basically physically uh, mechanical type testing system like charcoal canisters where they have electronic testing machines and what does it do let's just stick with a 48-hour test 
and let's just stick with uh, what well, doesn't matter either the charcoal uh, testing kits or the machines they're monitoring the air they're collecting air samples the machines are much more uh, precise because it shows you the level like every hour whereas the charcoal canister just collects you send it off to a lab and then they do whatever measurement the machine is literally every hour it's measuring the temperature the pressure it's a much more sophisticated test the house is closed up so the windows are closed uh, you can still go in and out like normal uh, but you're not supposed to leave windows and doors open because you basically want kind of an honest true sample of the closed up air in the living space and it's always the lowest living space not a closet uh, like a family room or something like that um, you can test it yourself you can order test kits online you could go to Lowe's you go go to Home Depot you buy test kits they used to be like $25 that's how I tested my house I did a, a 48 hour test I bought the test kit at Lowe's put it in my basement you're supposed to sit it so many feet off the ground. It's got instructions on how to do it. Uh, after 48 hours, I sent it off, got the results back, and I was under four picos. What's a pico? It's a pico curie. It's a measure of radioactivity. So four pico curies is the EPA limit of safe. So anything over four, 4.1, whatever, higher, the EPA recommends that you do a remediation of your radon level. So it's a pico curie. Some areas are higher levels than others. Some areas, uh, you never know, your neighbor could have it and you not have it. Uh, if you get a lot of rain, the, the levels can fluctuate with the weather. I always tell my clients, test for the radon. Um, so just as an example, you can go to the, to the uh, Maryland, uh, Maryland Department of the Environment, MDE, I'm gonna put some links for that, and the EPA uh, at the bottom of this in the description, and you can get more information, uh, and also they have maps, so like, Here's a little map of Central Maryland and part of the Eastern Shore of Maryland. So you'll see, it's fine. Here's Baltimore City. So it's yellow, which is low risk. Uh, but then as you go up, look at Baltimore County. Look at Harford County. Look at Carroll County. And then as you get to the shore, Cecil County and then down on the shore like white is like okay pretty much not not existent yellow a little bit mustardy yep red oh hell yeah so you'll see Western Maryland why is there more red mountains or rocks you go to Pennsylvania they have super high levels super super high levels so uh so this gives you an indication if you looked at a map of the country uh every mountain state red 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 so if you are a betting person and you're buying a house in this white area you might be like yeah i'm not gonna do it how much does the test cost if you did the test yourself test kit and then sample you yeah, probably 50 60 bucks if you hired a professional tester, I would always recommend that you hire an independent tester. Yeah, $150, $200. It is a very big issue because all new construction will come pre-plumbed with a passive radon remediation system. What's a passive radon remediation system? All right, so you have radon. Your level's over four picos. How do you get rid of it? Companies out there that do the remediation, who I always recommend do it, they will come into the house, they will go into the basement, they will seal up every crack and crevice that they can find. Then 
assuming that there's no pipe in place already installed, they, the remediator, will install a three to four inch pipe and it will go from the basement, sometimes out the side of the house and then up above the roof, sometimes through the house and through the roof. And in that pipe, there will be a vacuum pump that is literally pulling all the radon gas from underneath your basement floor, your concrete floor, and then pulling it out through the house. They use your sump pump crock. So you're, if you have a sump pump, there is a round plastic, typically container, so to speak, in your floor. And if you took off the top, you'd say it's about two and a half feet uh, deep. They run the pipe into that crock and then out through the house with a vacuum pump. And there's a little gauge on the pipe to show you how the, the, to demonstrate that the vacuum pump is working. And that pulls all the uh, radon gas out from underneath the slab or most of it. And then when you hire a professional, they'll do a second test to demonstrate that you're under four. If you did not have a crock, like I sold a house once that did not have a sump pump. It was a dry basement, so there was no sump pump, but it had high radon. So the remediation company literally drilled a four inch hole through the concrete basement floor and then down into the ground. And then they ran that pipe down into the ground and they put the vacuum pump on the pipe, ran the pipe out and it literally sucked the radon gas from, from the soil, uh, from the ground underneath that concrete basement slab out through the house and then took a test and it was under four. All new construction by code comes with that three, 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 four inch pipe already in the sump pump pit and then out through the, the house. There's no vacuum pump in it. Uh, so if you had radon, you would just have to hire, or they sell do-it-yourself kits now, uh, an expert uh, to install the vacuum pump. They let it work for several days before they retest to give it a chance to pull out. So uh, that's radon in a nutshell. Odorless, invisible, cancer-causing gas. Buying a house, get a radon test especially if you're going to live in the basement, especially if you have children. Spend the money, get the test. Uh, even if you don't fix it right away, you know that you will have to put uh, on your budget list, your to-do list, to fix. Uh, are you going to get cancer uh, within a month? No. Are you going to get cancer within a year? No. But if you continuously breathe that gas, there's a good chance statistically that you will get lung cancer. So, so you want to fix it. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. That's just a pretty quick, uh, synopsis of radon, what it is, how you get it, how you get rid of it. Uh, oh, approximate cost. If you had to hire an expert, to install a system and it was already piped in there, uh, you're probably like $600, $650. If the uh, expert had to do everything top to bottom, soup the nuts, uh, you're still probably like $1,200. It's, it's something that you should do. Uh, if it was me, it would be a must do item. Uh, even if I didn't do it right away, it'd be like in the top couple items to do, especially if you have children. So anyway, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, smash the subscribe button, click on the bell, click on I like it, comment would be a plus. If you have any questions, you can email me, you can comment, 
uh, with questions. You can call me. You can text me. You can Facebook message me. Messenger me. I don't care. Uh, reach out. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to give you guidance. I know people who do uh, licensed contractors who do the remediation uh, and do the testing so I can help guide you with everything. All right, my friends. I love you all. See ya. Mm -hmm.